Okay, hi guys. In this video I'm going to firstly discuss when and why you should use your left foot for braking, and secondly the heel and toe technique for rev maxing during downshifts. And then with any luck, I'll prove these yeah. techniques will make you quicker with a side-by-side -side comparison video. Firstly, let's talk about left foot braking and when you should do this. To determine whether a corner is suitable to brake using your left foot, you need to answer one very simple question. Do you need to downshift for the corner you are approaching? If the answer is yes, then you can't use your left foot to brake, as it is very much needed to operate the clutch. However, if you can navigate a corner while remaining in your current gear, then you can and should use your left foot for braking. So now we know when, what are the benefits from using your left foot? Well firstly it saves time. Moving your right foot from the accelerator across to the brake takes time. Not loads of time, but time nonetheless. By using your left foot to brake, this delay can be eliminated entirely, as your left foot is already covering the pedal before it's needed. Secondly, we need to look at weight transfer. The more weight you place on a tyre, the more grip it has. During braking, weight is transferred forwards and onto the front wheels, increasing grip. By braking with your left foot, your right foot can remain on the throttle, and using these two controls simultaneously will allow you to shift some weight onto the front wheels, aiding in front end grip and increasing your turning angle, while carrying maximum possible speed through the corner. The advantage in controlling weight transfer correctly means corners can be entered in a more stable and smooth manner, improving your approach speed and racing line, and an improved racing line will contribute to even more time coming off your laps. While left foot braking provides two very clear and beneficial advantages, it will certainly feel quite alien to you initially, and will require a good amount of practice. In fact, the first time I tried left foot braking in my real car, I very nearly stuck my head through the windscreen. Have you ever heard of muscle memory? This is where you've done something so many times that you just do it without thinking. A perfect example is walking. I mean, let's be honest, we're all pretty good at it from an early age, but that doesn't mean you found it easy to begin with, and it took some practice before you stopped falling over. For those of you who have never tried braking with your left foot, believe me when I say you're going to press the pedal too hard to start with. Because of your muscle memory, initially you're going to press the brake pedal with the same amount of force you're used to using when applying the clutch. This will be way too much, but it doesn't mean you can't learn to adjust. If you want to be successful, you have no choice but to stick with it. I'm a firm believer that the quickest way to get something right is to get it wrong first. It's going to take some adjusting too, but just like learning to walk, soon enough you'll stop falling over. Now let's discuss the heel and toe technique. To understand why this method is effective, you firstly need to fully understand what the clutch pedal actually does. Most of you will know this already, but for those who don't, I'll quickly explain. The clutch pedal operates the movement of two clutch plates situated between the engine and the transmission. When the clutch pedal is pressed, the clutch plates separate, causing a break in the connection. The break in this connection is essential for changing gear, but upon separating the plates, they begin to rotate at different speeds. Once the gear change is complete and you remove your foot from the clutch pedal, the clutch plates reconnect. You may notice while driving your car in real life, upon releasing the clutch you feel a slight bump. The bump which you experience is happening as the rotational speed of the two clutch plates synchronise as they reconnect. Badly timed or fast release of the clutch, particularly while driving aggressively in a racing environment, will make this bump far more noticeable and can easily upset the balance of the car, ruining your approach into the corner, messing up your racing line and killing your exit speed. For the smoothest possible downshift, the two clutch plates need to be spinning at similar speeds prior to releasing the clutch pedal. This is done by blipping the throttle during the gear change and doing this correctly will remove any noticeable bump and the car remains settled. A settled car means a smoother approach, helping you maintain full control and on the correct line for maximum cornering and exit speed. As perfect as this sounds, and remembering any gear changes should be done while braking on approach to the corner, the solution requires the operation of the clutch, brake and accelerator pedals all at the same time. So, how is it done, especially with only two feet? 
Well, your left foot is required for the clutch, so nothing changes there. This does now mean that your right foot is going to need to operate both the brake and the throttle at the same time. Although this technique is called heel and toe, it's more left side of your foot and right side of your foot. The left side, or the ball of your foot, is going to operate the brake, and by pivoting, the right side of your foot is going to blip the throttle before you release the clutch pedal. As previously mentioned, this raises the engine speed, synchronising the rotational speed of the two clutch plates, resulting in perfectly smooth gear changes and a nicely settled car. Just like with left foot braking, this will require some serious practice. Accurately covering both the brake and accelerator pedals with your right foot, while knowing how much pressure is required for successful rev matching, all takes time. However, just as before, stick with it and you'll soon be reaping the benefits of reduced lap times, while looking cool as hell. To put this to the test, I drove a stock tuned BMW M2 around Mugello, using both a normal driving approach and again using left foot braking and heel and toe techniques. In the following comparison video, you'll see how cornering was more precise with far better lines, resulting in faster exit speeds and inevitably a quicker lap time. Well there you have it, with an improved time of 1.202 seconds in a single lap that really does prove these techniques are worth getting to grips with. Just imagine that over a 20 lap race, that's a 24 second lead. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.